In this segment of Attendance Tracker, we'll discuss configuration of options at the check-in workstation. So when you set Procure up, you'll have an option to whether or not you wish to install it as a check-in station. And if you answered yes, you'll have the following icon on your desktop. And you just double click on that icon, the penguin with the green check mark. Check-in will open up and you'll be at this default screen. The only way to get out of check-in is to either hit the escape key on the keyboard or double click the area right above the register button and you'll have your options to exit out of check-in. If you click cancel, we go back to the title screen and we'll be discussing the options menu. So when you first set up check-in, you'll click on options and you'll be at this screen. If you have multiple locations, each check-in machine needs to point to one particular school and you'll do that. If you have just one location, you'll leave it right at the center that it is set to. The balance of the screen allows you to bring a picture in if you wanted to of your own. You could say add and then go ahead and import the image and select it and it would be displayed on that title screen that we just went through. If you need additional language help prompts in Procare, you can select them here. I'll just pick English. The skins I'd leave the same. These are options for color configurations and pointers. Screen timeout I would leave at none because if you set it to some number and the screen goes blank, the parents will come over to you and say, it's not working. So I'd leave that at none. If you find your parent or child or somebody is changing things in check-in and you don't want to allow it, you can click on password, enter a password, save it, and it would always be required before you could make any changes on this screen. If you are on a touch screen, you may want to click on hide mouse pointer. If you have a regular keyboard, you leave that checked. Allow payments allows you to accept payments if you're using Tuition Express. This would give the parents an optional menu if they double click on the amount due to be able to pay their balance. You also have check-in type. I'm gonna set it to fingerprint. If you don't have a fingerprint reader, you would set it to person ID. And there are some other ways you could do it with a card swipe, but most people nowadays are either using the fingerprint or the person ID. Allow bypass is discussed in a separate help article and it just gives parents an option if you use fingerprint and their fingerprint doesn't work, you could re-register them with allow bypass. Require password is usually not used. You could require fingerprint plus a password if you wanted to. The remaining buttons over here on the right hand side is configuration for employee data, which we won't discuss here. Family data options will go into, and I'll click on that. The display finish screen is how many seconds finish will display before it goes away and you're reset to the title screen. And you'll see what that finish button looks like when we go through our example. Display accounting, you have an option. You could either not display accounting at all. You could display the account balance only, and that would be to the primary payers. You could display the detail to the primary payer only, or you could display the details to all payers on account. You probably would allow display messages as messages are a very convenient thing to use when you want to communicate with your parents. Automatically check children in and out. I would probably recommend having it unchecked. You could select it, but what happens is if you check children automatically in or out, your parents will have to remember to deselect the child that's not showing up that day. So I would leave this blank. Require signature. If you're in a state that requires signature capture and you have the signature capture, you would flag the require signature. And then if you're using Tuition Express, this is an option as far as who's going to get the payment receipt. I'm going to exit now. The next button that we'll go through is hardware. And that is basically used if you want to install an automatic door controller and you want to select either what COM port it is, if you have one of the older ones, or to display the network settings for a door controller if you go that route. Enable printing is if you want your parents to be able to print a ticket out that you could give to the child, and that would accompany the child as they walk over to the classroom. Large centers tend to use this so they can be certain that the child had been checked in up at the front. We'll click on exit, and we're now back at the configuration menu. We're simply going to exit and be back at the title screen.